Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming, and welcome back to another mono game micro tutorial series. In this tutorial series, we are going to look at uh, learning how to draw text to the screen. Now, it's very, very simple. Uh, there's really not a whole lot involved, but there's a little bit of a, like a very little bit of a setup. You have to create something called a sprite font. So the first thing, let's go in and create our project. So file, new, project. And mine's already set to where I want it saved. And we're going to call this drawing text. And then we're going to hit OK. And create a new project here. Do, do, do. And we're going to go ahead and open up game1.cs. Now, before we start coding, um, let's go into our mono game pipeline tool here. File, open. And you want to navigate to the folder wherever you happen to have this stored. Um, in my case, it's in documents, projects, mono game, YouTube, drawing text, drawing text, go into the content folder and open up content.mgcb and create a brand new folder in here because I do love my organization. And add a new item, add a sprite font description. So basically sprite fonts, uh, basically we load them up and it tells us what font we're gonna use, whether it's bold, what the spacing is, uh, the size of the font, and I usually like to name them based on what they are, both the variable that I'm going to store, be storing this, as well as uh, the sprite font itself. Okay, so we went on ahead and made this. Now let's go on ahead and uh, edit it really quickly so we can build it. So uh, if you remember in an XNA4, you can just open it up, but you can't do that in this one. However, what you can do is you can just go File, Open, File, and it'll immediately open up into the folder you're working on. And then go into Content, Fonts, Ubuntu 32.Sprite font. And I'm going to change this to the Ubuntu font. However, you can use any font you like and any name you like. Uh, if you don't have the Ubuntu font, font, that's perfectly fine. You can even just use the default and set it to 32 in bold. So it really doesn't matter. And we're going to go ahead and hit Control S to save it. Now we're going to go back to our... And by the way, uh, to back up just a little bit there, I changed the size. I set it to 32. And then I changed the style, which is set to bold. As you can see here, you can set to regular, bold, italic, or you can set it to both by using parentheses. I'm just going to uh, set it to bold. And up here, we set our font name, obviously. And I'm just going to build this now. So file, build, and it built. Awesome. Okay, so now for the even easier part. Drawing it to the screen, or rather drawing text to the screen. So we need to create a new variable called Ubuntu32, or whatever you happen to name yours. And it is a sprite font. I'm going to call it Ubuntu32. And in our load content, we want to load up our font. So Ubuntu32 equals uh, content.load. And the data type we have to put in here is sprite font. And fonts. Let me see here. Ubuntu 32. Uh, remember, you remember you have to put, uh, you don't put the file extension and you also have to know the path. So if you need to, just switch back to your uh, mono game pipeline tool. Okay, so now we've loaded it up. Now, how do we actually draw it? Well, this is really, really simple. So go down into our draw event and I'm just going to comment here. Draw our, draw text to the screen. Whoops. Typo. And we just want to do a sprite batch dot begin and a sprite batch dot end. Now, if you run into any errors, make sure that you're using the sprite batch created here, not the data type here, which is part of mono game. Uh, and go back down here and in between begin and the end, do sprite batch dot draw string. Now, by default, uh, this accepts four out of six arguments. So you need a minimum of four. You need the font, the text, the vector position, the position, which is a vector two, and then the color, which would be the text color. And you can set this to anything you like, but we are gonna set it to black. So the first thing is really simple, the Ubuntu 32, which is the font we loaded, and then our string. And I'm gonna call this hello world. I can spell it without any typos, that is. And then we need to create a new vector two. This is just the position on the screen. You can set this to anything you like. We're gonna be covering the coordinate values uh in a later tutorial but i'm just gonna set this to zero zero because it's perfectly fine for what we're doing 
And I'm going to set this color to black. And there we go. This, this is it. We just hit F5. And we just wait for it to build. And there we go. We have our beautiful Hello World text drawn in. And that took us, what, about five minutes? It's pretty good. It's very easy to set up and draw uh, text inside a mono game, as you can see. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you like this tutorial series and want to support me in the channel, go on ahead and uh, support me on Patreon. Every little bit helps. And uh, if you have any you know, uh, tutorials you'd like to see, just let me know in the uh, comments. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.